Xenophon, Anabasis, Episode 8. Haposas eke fulakas entais polesi, parengelatois frurarkois hekastois, lambanen andras peloponesius, atiplestus kai beltistus, os epibulewantas tisafernus tais polesi. In the previous episode, we looked at this first sentence and the second one, in which he says, therefore, in the following way, epoieta ten sulogain. He, being Cyrus, conducted his levy of troops, sulogain, a gathering or collecting together. And the hode then, this adverb, sets us up for what follows. However many haposas, guards, in the cities, and tais polesi, he had, however many guards he had in the cities, eche is the third singular imperfect of echo. Notice the augment. He announced, par angela, tois frurarkois hekastois, to the commanders of the watches, each one of them. Tois frurarkois hekastois, masculine plural, dative. So he announced to each and every one of the commanders of the watch that he had in the cities. He ordered them, par angela, to gather them together, lambanen, and we're going to have an object of lambane, namely andros. Par angela is from the verb par angelo, and it is a second aorist, asigmatic, strong. And here is the augment and the secondary ending. These men he ordered lambane to collect andros, fighting men, who were from the Peloponnese, Peloponnesian. This is the adjectival ending, Peloponnesius. And so then, Andras and Peloponnesius are together masculine, plural, accusative, because the latter modifies the former. Gather together all of those men of the Peloponnese, fighting men, Hoti Pleistus. And now there's going to be modification. Hoti Pleistus kai bel tistus. Hoti, or hos, this conjunction, when used with a superlative adjective, as it is here, means as much as can be conceived or as much as possible. So to gather together Peloponnesian fighting men, as many as they could and the very best ones possible, bel tistus. This is the superlative of agathos, a positive degree of the adjective, which means virtuous or, in this instance, good at fighting. Gather all of them together. And then this host clause is going to give us the reason why, and that is this host clause with the genitive, epibulewantos. This is from the verb epibulewo, which means to plot against, and it always patterns with the dative. It patterns with the dative. On the charge, or on the allegation that Tissaphernes, Tissaphernus, was plotting, and this is a genitive absolute. This is a genitive case looking uh, perhaps unusual. It's third declension derived from a Persian word. And a genitive absolute has three elements. It has, first of all, a noun or pronoun in the genitive. It has a participle in the genitive, and it is grammatically distinct. That is, it's not the subject or object or modifying one of those. Grammatically distinct. On the charge that Tissaphernes was plotting against the cities. Tais polesi. Here is the dative with the verb epipulewo.